Hi everyone, it's Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern and happy Wednesday. It is time for a little jewelry party Wednesday. Here we are. I have all kinds of gorgeous treasures to show to all of you. Uh, so I'm very excited for you to join me. Uh, if you're there, go ahead, say hello, let me know how you're doing. I have got some fabulous pieces to show you. And as always, I start off with some of my favorites like this gorgeous Napier piece. Uh, so sit back, relax. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to shout them out. I'll do my best to answer them while we're here, as well as I want you to have fun. I want you to be inspired and I want you to feel like you can look and feel your best by just adding a little bit of jewelry to it. So it's really super easy. Remember everything we always show here at Vintage Meat Modern is what I call five seconds to fabulous. You just put it on and it totally brightens up your face and your attitude and helps you have incredible style wherever you go. So let's get the party started. Everything you see tonight, you can either shop at VMM over under the new arrivals or you can uh, click the fresh start and fresh sparkles, which is this week's collection uh, because I know February is already the second month of the year, but I know many of us felt like we needed to get off to another fresh start. So that's what this is all about. So let's go ahead. Let's start right away. I am wearing this incredible 1950s Napier piece, which as you can see is chunky. It's beautiful. It's a true statement necklace. It has a very couture look and feel to it. Uh, it has just a hint of a little bit of everything. It's got jewel tones to it. It has a hint of pearls. Uh, it lays very nicely, as you can see. We have a lot of chunky necklaces tonight, and I have on a simple scoop neck from Banana Republic. So if you're at home and you're just relaxing or maybe you're dressing more casually, I just want to let you know it is actually very easy to just add a fantastic statement look to your you know, jam, and then, you know, you're doing your Zoom call, you're talking to your sister by FaceTime, and instantly you look and feel more glamorous and more beautiful. So this is this incredible piece. It has sort of watermelon colors. It kind of has like a sea kind of blue. It has hints of turquoise and coral in it. And then of course it has faux pearls with it as well. So very easy to mix with your other classic jewelry that you have, whether you wear some teeny tiny little huggy hoops or if you uh, tend to wear um, larger pearl earrings, there's a lot to work with here. So this piece is wonderful. It has a J-hook closure in the back. You can make it even shorter, but I wanna let you know, I have it all the way up based on my neckline, but you can always add an extender to this and make it a lot longer if you'd like to be able to have it extend to your neckline too, if you'd like something that's a bit lengthier. So lots of good things going on with this one. Really, really beautiful colors. As you can see, even with darker colors uh, and classic, like a primary I have on today, like a blue, these are all really fabulous pieces that are very easy to be able to add to your look. Now I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna say, for those of you who like the classic pieces, we have a very nice Anne Klein Couture uh, 1980s necklace with this geometric basket weave style. This features a larger toggle on the back. And for those of you who just like classic statement necklaces, remember, I always tell people one of the beauty of being able to add classic gold pieces to your look is that it instantly warms up your face. So for those of you who are always looking for pieces that are going to give you that glow, which I know many of you people say, and thank you very much. Someone said you look beautiful. Uh, and I do appreciate that. And that's one of my secrets. You know, one of my secrets is to pick pieces that naturally enhance your natural glow. They make you look and feel beautiful. They elevate your style. Uh, and when you pick things that are very tasteful and timeless like this, I assure you, no one is going to ask you whether it's faux or if it's real. People are going to notice the dynamic design and how easy it is to be able to wear a dressy or just casual. So another piece that's just very easy to wear. I do love that very elegant brushed tone look. And while this has a kind of polished and refined feel to it, it also has a bit of an eclectic feel, sort of kind of an Egyptian revival. This is something that you could easily picture, you know, a very glamorous like Cleopatra style just by the way that it lays. And then of course that brushed gold tone gives it still that warmth and glow, but just sort of 
with a hint of a softness as well because it's not your bright shiny gold so this one is another one i would consider this one to basically be like a jewelry box essential i think it's something that would never go out of style uh Anne klein couture uh did very few classic couture style pieces in the 1980s her pieces continue to go up in value so it's one that's also extremely well made there's no wear to the plating on this piece at all and like i said this one has a larger toggle on the back and again i want to impress upon everybody i am dressed very casually today i took my parents for their second covid shot <laughs> Uh, so I went and I took them and I was able to be very comfortable and I had something just like this just on to go ahead and wear, run that errand. And as you can see, it's got a nice large toggle. It has several loops on the back of it so you can make it up to a 16, I think, to like an 18 and a half inch long. Uh, it does have the Anne Klein signature here, which you'll have to go and take a closer look at it. But it does have the little lion tag and it is signed Anne Klein on the back of it. So another great piece, totally a jewelry box staple. Next up, we have this also incredible statement necklace that I showed earlier this week. I actually had it on with Navy too. But this was the one that over the weekend, I really wanted people to guess who the designer was. And I was very surprised that nobody also uh, guessed that it was Florenza. Whoever said, I couldn't see what your name is because it just is a Facebook user. Congratulations on getting your vaccine today. I'm thrilled for that. And I hope that you have no side effects whatsoever. And I hope that, you know, you'll feel better even when you get the next shot three weeks from now. So I wish you all nothing but the best. I'm always rooting for all of you. So this piece, a lot of people said it looked a lot smaller in the pictures. And as you can see, it's really actually an awesome statement piece. Uh, so this one is by Florenza. It is a white uh, enameled piece. It has an open back stone on the back. Uh, and it also has this really nice both silver and gold chain. And I like this one because, yes, it does have the silver and the gold chain. But besides having the silver and gold chain, the medallion is really, really nice. And for those of you who love wearing tunic style blouses, so for example, if you shop at Chico's or like I have on a blouse or a t-shirt, uh, just a classic scoop neck from Banana Republic, uh, if you shop at J. Crew, like I do, I'm getting to that point now where I'm getting nervous that I'm either going to get the piece stuck in my hair or I'm not going to be able to get the spring ring. So I'm going to take a moment here to collect myself and make sure that I get it on straight. So this is the Florenza piece. As you can see, one of the fun things about it is, is it does have that silver and that gold chain. Uh, and it does hit in a nice longer length. Keep in mind, if you had a higher neck, you know, it would be very easy to wear with a boat neck, a scoop neck. Uh, of course, any kind of classic solid color you have, you know, it's great against the classic blue like I have on today, but you can just wear it against any classic color that you have. So it's a nice size. It's a nice scale. As you can see, as I put it across all one, two, three, four fingers, it is a nice larger piece and it's a super fun one. It's one of those pieces, though, that you can feel good about that even though it's white, you can wear it year round. It's going to pop in the summertime like other classic milk glass jewelry, but it's going to be really dynamic against your darker colors when you wear those in fall and winter as well, too. And it's fun because it's got the gold and the silver double chain as well, which I really like a lot. I wore it earlier during the week with a wrap top. So there's definitely different ways of deciding where you want it to hit you. Um, that sounds kind of weird, like hit you. No, uh, depending on where you want it to fall against your neckline and the style of the clothing that you have on, you have a lot of options in terms of the types of blouses, tops, tees, dresses that you can wear with it. Plus, as I mentioned, it's very, very versatile, you know, related to the color. So this is a super fun one. It does have a nice spring ring on the back of it. There you go. Very easy to be able to connect. If I can do it on camera, so can you. Uh, and this is just a really neat piece. And I think it's really cool that it's Florenza because we so often think of Florenza pieces as being very different. Uh, for example, let's just take a look up over here. This just also happens to be a Florenza piece. So, you know, for those of you who join us, there were some people who said earlier today that, you know, I really enjoy getting to go to Jewelry Party Wednesday because I know there's other jewelry lovers on. I know I get to learn a little bit about the brands. And of course, I get to see the size and the scale and the colors. 
So what I wanted to point out today was, yes, these do have similar characteristics, but they're also very different, but they're also both Florenza pieces. So this one has a Victorian revival style uh, that's got like the little cameos and the tassels. And then of course, this one has more of that nod to like the mod, the big, the bold 1960s style. So it's fun to kind of compare year to year, decade to decade, uh, design to design to see how, you know, different designers create completely different looks. Uh, but one thing that I can impress upon all of you is that the quality between both of these pieces is the same, which is something I talk a lot about when I talk about the value of vintage jewelry. And also I talk about why these pieces last and look so nice even 50, 60, 70 years later. There's a lot of workmanship and design. And also keep in mind, not only are the pieces heavier and they're made better they also have heavier gold plating but you know all these pieces were also made by people they weren't just pressed out of machines in china uh which that's not to say that i don't also like modern jewelry that will become your vintage and not that i don't understand that you know lots of things have you know over throughout the years have changed designs because of the different abilities to be able to make things. But I do think that that's one of the reasons why when you put on these pieces, you can see the quality and the design and you can get really excited over the fact that they look as nice as they do. Uh, and you know, like I said, these pieces are from the 1950s and they look amazing. So, but it's fun to be able to compare the designs. That's something that I always enjoy uh, when I look at, you know, the different jewelry books and I go through my collector's books and things like that. It's always really fun uh, to be able to look and compare to see how different designers had different designs during different eras. And of course, one of the important things to point out is that, Accessories and jewelry designers that were primarily popular and American made in the Newport, Rhode Island area, which was, you know, the capital of, you know, designer jewelry during the 50s and the 60s. The thing to keep in mind with them is, is that they really looked to New York and to Paris and to all over the world in order to create designs that would blend seamlessly with what women would really wear. So moving on. <laughs> Do we call it a buddy, bunny? Do we call it a mid-century modern piece? Uh, you know, I feel like every direction we turn it in, we could kind of come up with a different design. Uh, my children think it looks like a rabbit, uh, but this piece is cool because for those of you who are new and are just joining us, this one is neat because this one's what we actually call a new old stock piece. So, or some people call it dead stock, but I don't like calling anything dead stock. <laughs> I'd rather just call it new, new old stock. So this piece is from Bogoff and it's a 1950s mid-century modern design. Uh, it has a slightly textured 18 karat gold plate and it then has these very pretty, yes, yeah, somebody else says it looks like body and legs. That's what I mean. It's artistic. It's from the 60s and 50s era. It is a nod to when different kinds of surrealism and different kinds of artists and brutalist modern and all kinds of things uh, began to take different shapes and styles and then we saw different things. And so this one I'm just gonna call a mod, mid-century modern design, but it does have very lovely, very beautiful different colored rhinestones. I particularly like that the emerald cup ones are actually also bezel set. So that's really cool. And then of course, one of the beautiful fun pieces of this is that this one says jewels by Bogoff and it has the original tag on it. Uh, and this one actually was called Arabian Nights. On the back of it, it actually has the teeny tiny little tag. Uh, it is signed Bogoff on the back also, besides having the actual little paper tag on it. Uh, it does have a lot of really beautiful colors to it. Let's see if I can put it on without going through my skin, right? There we go. So it is a nice size. Oh, I can't get it. Let's try that again. It is a nice size and a nice scale. Uh, you can see how easily it is to be able to pin up to the corner. There we go. Uh, and it does have those very beautiful, classic royal jewel tone rhinestones that are set into it. And so, yeah, so you can see a lot of things. Um, what is this? It's like the abstract designs when the psychologist or the psychiatrist take a look at this and then you kind of get 
to name whatever you think that it is. So this one's definitely up to your own interpretation. Uh, this title of it or the style actually is called Arabian Nights on that teeny tiny little Bogoff uh, marking, but it is super fun that it is new old stock, which means it's really true vintage in the sense that it would be completely new to you, but it's also completely new. It's never been worn. So this is another super fun one. Uh, I do like all the royal jewel tone colors. And as you can see, they are very vibrant. You can get, you know, a catch of the red and the blue and the purple and the emerald green. So lots of pretty colors. I would encourage you to go over and head on over to the website and take a closer look at it because then you can really have an appreciation for all the different colors. But hopefully we were able to show you the size and the scale here. So you'll have um, an enjoyment knowing that this one is actually a nice mid-size brooch. All right. We also, so as long as I'm talking about blues and greens, we have a very pretty pair of Sabrina Navette earrings. So that features the bi-colored rhinestones. They have a cabochon finish to them. So instead of being faceted, but this one also has an Aurora Borealis center in it. And then of course it flashes those blue green colors. I always kind of call them peacocky colors, but you know, this is another one of those little magical kind of color changing depends on what you put with it. If it's going to look more blue or more green and uh, it's a nice size and a nice scale. So many of you know that my favorite way to be able to really enjoy uh, vintage jewelry is by wearing earrings. I have pierced ears, but I don't wear pierced earrings because I have a metal allergy. So I absolutely love wearing clip earrings. I actually find them to be very comfortable and I love that there's such a large variety of unique vintage ones that are very easy to find. Now, another thing that I wanna point out to everybody, another benefit of wearing clip earrings is it doesn't drag down your lobes. So for those of you who have either thinner ear lobes or when you start wearing heavier ear earrings, you can actually feel it. That is one of the benefits also of wearing the clips is that they don't drag you down. So they're another way to be able to get a really great statement look without having a lot of wear and tear on your ears. And, you know, I always do point out to people also, people say I can't wear clip earrings. There's a lot of ways to very easily be able to adjust them. So you shouldn't just steer clear of them because you're worried that they're going to pinch or hurt. You know, we sell clip earring pads. I call them the Dr. Scholes of clip earrings. Uh, you can take them to a jeweler. You can have him adjust the tension by either pulling back the clip or actually pulling it up. So it's really up to you, but it's very easy to make them more comfortable more wearable and definitely things like this they fit just very very comfortably i really do love this so lynn says that they always hurt me i would encourage you to get the clip earring pads that we have because they do make a really big difference uh, especially because i think a lot of people have a tendency to put them on the back of the clip and for me i find it's actually more comfortable to put the memory foam on this side because then it kind of just pushes them away from your ears a little bit which makes them a little bit more comfortable Okay, for my brooch lovers, now, hey girls, St. Patrick's Day is gonna be here before we know it. Plus, so many of you love that classic emerald green. I really can't believe that we have this one this week. We have this beautiful pinwheel style brooch that features these very gorgeous navette style, uh, and they also have a nice layered and tiered, so it's got a nice set of round stones that are going around with it. And then it has a classic Diamante right in the center. This one is also great. I know Michelle Martin showed a picture of herself today wearing one of the wire collars that we have at VMM. And this would be a great one to do it because this one is a nice round one. It is also a nice larger size to pin to your favorite coat or jacket. And it also has that very nice, bright, vibrant emerald green color to it. Yes, somebody said it's better than the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Well, it's nice because this one has got all the sparkle that you could ever love. And especially for those of you who get excited. I know we have a lot of fun Irish women that join us. Uh, this one is actually perfect to wear for the, you know, time of the emerald green over at St. Patty's Day. And it's a nice 
sparkly piece as well. Uh, it doesn't have any damage or any wear to any of the rhinestones and all the plating is in excellent condition in the back too. And if I turn it over this way, you can see the layer that's got the one tier, the two tier, and then it's got the top tier. So there you go. And I mean, of course, I was showing you, you know, we have lots of really pretty green pieces this week. And so let's move on to our next really pretty green piece. So we've got a nice, large, uh, this one's sort of like in the style of a Victorian sash brooch. This one is a nice, large 1940s era pot metal brooch. It's a nice, large size, as you can see. It goes almost three and a half inches across and then almost two and a half inches wide. And this one's kind of neat because it has an antique sort of metal tone to it, which is awesome because so many of us love those pieces that have that true antique estate quality, as well as, again, I love telling people the fun part about brooches is, is you can never just stroll right into your favorite department store and have a huge array of brooches to choose from. And I always say that brooches are the best. They are the one size fits all of vintage jewelry or jewelry in general, because they always fit. Uh, they're completely practical. You can use them to close up your cloak. You can use them to tie a sash. You can use them to wear them as a ribbon around your waist. You can use them to close a pashmina. You can tuck them into the back of your hair. You can put them on a handbag. Uh, they make very nice gifts and they're always unique and there's all different kinds of styles and varieties. If you like things with just classic gold tone, if you like things that have a little bit of sparkle, there is a brooch for everyone. So this one is a very nice larger size as you can see. It features sort of an antique kind of brass tone cast metal. It is a pot metal brooch. Uh, it has the back is still in very good condition. There is no wear to the metal. And also all of the stones are in place and all the stones are sparkly. So there's no wear. There's no missing stones or no dead stones, as we say, that have like a gray or a dark finish to them. And it also has a secure pin back. And like I said, this nice larger piece, it is see now look at how nice that that looks it just fills up the whole side of my shirt so it's a great piece to be able to wear on your favorite sweater it's a great piece to wear in your favorite dress and for those of you who wear lighter toned coats so if you have a camel colored coat maybe you've got something that's winter white maybe you have something that's a lighter gray this would be very lovely against any of our lighter colors and then for you that you know are like me like a blazer wearer this would be a fantastic piece to wear on a blazer on the lapel too Plus, I do love that this one will be very easy to wear sash style as well as the Victorian sash style brooches were so popular because they were very large for closing sashes. Uh, this would make a very nice larger piece to do that. So and it just has the most beautiful colors. It's nice the way that it has the more darker antique style metal, but you can still see all the flashes of the green, too. So another piece that's perfect uh, for St. Patrick's Day. So very lovely and also keep in mind i have this on against a darker fabric but if you hold it up against me you're going to see just a little bit of the flash of underneath because you can see that it's got some open work design uh this one would be very nice to be able to wear against lighter colors as well we also have got a shades of green pinwheel brooch so for those of you who liked the other pinwheel brooch that we had that had the deeper emerald green for those of you who prefer the lighter green we also have got another really beautiful one that features these longer marquee set rhinestones and this one has a peridot color as well as a very beautiful um, sort of lighter green mixed with the darker green. So this one's another really pretty one. I, this one looks a little bit more like a star to me. And then of course this one has more of a medallion feel. Uh, both of them are set in the gold tone uh, and they are both again, perfect choices to wear for St. Patrick's Day. So we've gone over that piece. All right, now I'm gonna talk about another one of my favorites. Now I just wanna let you know if you have some of the collecting costume jewelry books, these are also a pair of vintage Florenza. Boy, Florenza jewelry has been very popular tonight. These are vintage Florenza and they are a large amber stone uh, with a large smoky topaz style rhinestone in the center. And then they've got these sort of potato style little pearls. One, I'm not sure who it is. I'm not going to reveal names, but I do know that someone from the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society, which is our private Facebook group, 
has the matching bracelet to this. We have had the matching bracelet to this piece. Second of all, this pair of earrings and the bracelet are also book pieces that are in either Costume Jewelry 101, 202, or 303. Uh, and they are pictured under the designs that were popular for Florenza. So these are a really nice, again, kind of fun piece. I love anything, again, like I said earlier, I like anything that just naturally warms up your face. And because this has the pure white rhinestone, if you fall into more of the cool tones, it's still going to be complimentary to you. But if you are more of a gal that has more of the warm tones, this is equally going to be able to warm up your face really easily. They're a really nice, beautiful button style. Uh, I really love the large center stone. And of course, one of the other beautiful pieces about it is that accent of the classic pearl. So if you have other pearl jewelry, like a classic pearl necklace, if you wear a pearl bracelet, uh, if you wear a pearl ring, this would be a very lovely piece to mix with all of those pieces. So again, another favorite of mine tonight. I love that you get that warm amber look as I kind of just let them have that little reflection. It's got those citrine colored stones going around the outside. Uh, and you know, you can flash whatever you want. If you want it to look more cognac color, it's gonna look more cognac. But keep in mind, I have navy on today and it looks really fabulous with navy. So another really fun, fabulous piece. Okay, we're coming to absolutely one of my all-time favorite pieces. Many of you know I collect Kenneth J. Lane jewelry. That's one of my personal favorites. I would keep this one for myself, but I already have a chunky pearl necklace from him. Uh, and this is another awesome piece. This is the chunky Kenneth J. Lane pearl necklace. Yes, it is supposed to lay kind of messy. Uh, if you've ever gone and you've looked at some of the Chanel shows, you know that Chanel uh, couture style designs frequently mixes the big chunky pearls with the boucle jackets and all the different kinds of textures and tweeds. So if you're looking to have a real high end couture style look, this is going to give you that look. So again, it's real chunky. It's really funky. It's super fun. It is actually a very well-made piece in terms of the pearls are a very nice quality. There's no scratches. There's no wear to the knacker, which is also another important thing to keep in mind whenever I'm showing you pieces from VMM. Uh, you know, there's no scratches to any of this. And even if you want to, if you want to twist it, you can twist it because it's got this hook clasp in the back. Uh, and you can make it shorter if you want to wear it more choker style. So there's definitely options on how to be able to wear this one. And if you have other pearl jewelry and you really are trying to get that couture look, you could easily layer this up with other flapper style pieces. So this one's a great one. Yeah, pop the collar on a white button shirt. I couldn't agree with you more. Or if you had like just a scoop neck with like a sort of a sheer black and then you had sort of a black tuxedo style jacket that would be really elegant with this. And then this would look really beautiful with satin. So if you had like a satin cami with a, maybe a little bit of lace detail, this would be really beautiful with that too. So this is a fun, fabulous piece. I really do like this one a lot. Like I said, I collect Kenneth J. Lane jewelry. Um, I know I've told the story many times, you know, for those of you who have already heard it, you get to hear it again. You know, one of my first real like experiences with vintage jewelry and vintage costume jewelry was with a previous client when I still took consignment and I still worked in personal shopping. And when we were consigning her estate because she was moving across the country from Chicago in like this gigantic house all the way to a one bedroom condo out in California, she wanted all of her jewelry consigned. And when we were going through pieces, she was like, I want to get the most for my Kenneth J. Lane. And she also had pieces from like David Yearman and John Hardy and, you know, Tiffany Paloma Picasso. And she was willing to accept going rates for those pieces. But Kenneth J. Lane, she gave me the fabulous book, Faking It. She was like, go back home, read all about him. And there were so many awesome stories about him and how he was inspired to create his pieces. And then also he has created pieces for some of the world's most remarkable women in the world who we all know. Everybody from Jacqueline Kennedy to Barbara Bush. So just amazing pieces. They're always a very high quality. They retain their value and they're super fun. So lots of really fabulous pieces. And I love this one. 
But for those of you who like something a little more mysterious, we also have got a really fun, chunky gray pearl necklace. Uh, and this one's got kind of like an edgier feel to it. So I still like things that have a lot of silver pearl details to them. Uh, it's one of my favorites because I actually have some gray pearls that my parents gave me from Hawaii. Uh, but I also just like gray pearls in general. It really reminds me of the kind of the Mickey Moto style. It was very popular in the 80s and the 90s. And so I love anything. Again, I like anything that has a little bit of movement, a little bit of articulation, but really fills the neckline very comfortably. And that's exactly what this piece does. Again, another great quality. There's no near to the whacker, knacker. There's no scratches to anything. It has a J hook, so it's very easy to be able to adjust to different lengths. I have it pretty high up. Um, you know, I'm always telling everybody about how that I don't really like chokers and I don't wear them very often. And recently I find myself wearing more and more of them at like a 16 inch, which is kind of unusual for me. So this one's got a really nice luminescent feel to it. Um, you know, it is, again, it's another one that's supposed to kind of lay sort of chunky and sort of organically. Uh, but again, this would be another great one for a white collared shirt with the collar popped up. This would be another great one to wear with a classic black V-neck. Uh, this one would even really be pretty with a very high, like a black neck sort of styling to it. And then of course, you wouldn't need anything else. This is just like your great classic statement piece. Um, it's your fun variation of your classic pearl. So this is another great one. This one is available tonight as well. And I highly recommend someone add this one to their collection as well as uh, the Kenneth J. Lane Pearl one. So, and you can see really beautiful luminescence in it. And like I said, there's no scratches to the knacker either. You can feel really good about that. I can't believe we're winding down here. You know, you all loved this collection a ton when it came out on Sunday. So there's a lot of fun pieces that are left. But, you know, there were also a lot of pieces that just flew out of here. And that's kind of the nature of Vintage Meat Modern. So next we have a really fun. And, you know, the interesting thing is we have pieces that really are different sizes. Oh, yeah. Margaret said pink and gray. That's a good one. Uh, especially like a pale pink, you know, oh man, that would be so pretty with like a pale pink cashmere uh, sweater or like a kind of a scoopier, you know, cowl neck. That one would be really fun. So the interesting thing is I always say that I feel like the pieces just kind of naturally come together and I, it was not planned. But if you liked that chunky Napier necklace that I wore at the very beginning of the evening, this Sarah Coventry set basically like mimics the same colors uh, that you see in this very chunky necklace. So this one's got gold and pearls and a hint of coral. And this one has, uh, it's got a pearl, it has a piece of jade, it has a piece of road quartz, and it has a piece of lapis tucked into it. Uh, this one also I wore, again, with a navy. Uh, I wear a lot of wrap style blouses. They're just very comfortable for me. So this I wore, again, on navy. And this is another one that's a nice size, nice scale. We have a pair of matching earrings that go with it. And if you like things that have a subtle look to it but have a pop of color to it, especially if you like ones that have more of those softer tones, the way that we also saw with the Napier necklace, this is a great piece. Margaret says, I loved the forget-me-not earrings. Those were really fun, weren't they? They were very sweet. They were a very nice size. They had just that hint of sparkle. So now as I'm beginning to uh, go and plan for our spring looks, I will definitely Kind of, um, let's see if I can go ahead. I think you can hear me, can't you? Okay, I'm back. 
<laughs> for those of you who are like, what happened to me? My internet just cut out for just like a second. Um, and I believe me, I was freaking out on this end. If you're watching me on Instagram too, I was like, what happened to everybody on Facebook? <laughs> but um, yeah, it just like glitched and froze. At first I thought it was a Facebook thing. It turned out that it seems like my internet just skipped for a minute. It's got to be all those kids that are doing their homework on Zoom tonight. <laughs> so uh, so we had the Napier necklace was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, we also, if you love those vibrant colors, uh, this is another one that would be a great one to go ahead and take a peek on. Like I said, it's interesting the way that many times we see a repeat of colors within the collection. Uh, so this one, for example, has got the same sort of blues and pinks and kind of different flashes that you see actually in that chunkier necklace, but in a smaller version. And also for those of you who really liked that Bogoff brooch, the same thing. You can see those really beautiful jewel tones. Uh, so this is a really great pair too. And there's also a pair of matching earrings uh, that go with this brooch. I love this set because it's very vibrant. Uh, and I love anything that even when you put other vibrant colors against it, you can just see the different flashes of pink. So this one is another really beautiful piece. So we've got that one. And it looks like I've got the citrine piece to talk about. And then we're winding down here. So. I've showed a lot of things that have some of the cooler tones in them with some blues, the grays, the classic pearls. Uh, then we also have this very pretty, it's different shades of yellow. And I really wanted to show you how this one looks against blue because this is another one that really looks gorgeous in terms of coloring uh, with your navies and your blacks. Uh, also, it looks very nice against gray and it just has some really beautiful yellow and golden amber tones to it. And this one also would make a really pretty pendant. So this one, again, this one would be a really nice east-west style or you could turn it and you could wear it north-south style too. So. Another really beautiful piece, and I absolutely love this one. There is a pair of matching earrings, too, but I don't believe I have them on my tray right now. Sorry about that. The tray is filled with all kinds of really beautiful, unique pieces. So I have to say, I hope you head over to the website right now, because as I like to put it, all of these pieces are currently up for adoption, and girls, I can't just pick a favorite. <laughs> there are so many awesome pieces this week. Um, there's some really great necklaces. Look at that tray is full and it's totally waiting for you. Um, there's a lot of perfect pieces and I do, I am a huge fan of all the necklaces this week. And as I mentioned, I really wanted to show the versatility of them for actually even dressing them down. I have on a very comfortable you know, tea today is a long sleeve one from Banana Republic, and I actually have it in multiple colors. And the scoop neck in the classic design, as well as just the classic solid color, is perfect uh, to either pick up a classic necklace like that Anne Klein Couture one that we started off talking, one of the chunky pearl pieces, or one of that huge um, torsade style with the multi strands that I started off the evening with from Napier. So, Majority of the pieces today were from the 1950s era. There were some pieces that were far as back as the 1940s. Uh, we had a couple pieces that were part of our 1980s genre or decade, I should say, with uh, the Anne Klein Couture. And for those of you who are looking for green pieces for St. Patrick's Day, we do have some lovely green pieces as well. Of course, green is always in style. It's one of my favorite pieces. There's actually a blog post up over on Vintage Meat Modern all about wearing different shades of green, what to wear it with, how to make green uh, look more fabulous. And then what I always remind people is that green is also a natural earth tone. So there's always different shades of it, which means there's a shade of green for everyone. But really the truth is, you know, I'm a pearls girl. So I'm going to tell you pearls go with everything. So that's my, that's my truth. So, so head on over to VMM. Uh, everything that you see here is tonight is under the Fresh and Fabulous collection, or you can find it under New Arrivals. For those of you who answered my question earlier today, and I asked you about why you like joining us for Jewelry Party Wednesday, there were so many wonderful answers. But I think that Leanne and I can agree, and Claudia can agree, uh, what we really love is being able to have everyone come together to celebrate the joy of jewelry. And it's always, always, always my number one goal to help you look and feel your best. 
because when you look and feel good, you do good and the world needs more of that. And believe me, with everything going on in the world, you all deserve to look and feel your best and you really need to share your sparkle everywhere you go. So even if it's just from the couch to the kitchen, I'm giving you permission to put on a piece of fabulous vintage jewelry and do it just for you. All right. Yes, Alicia, who is our favorite manager from Manager Monday over at Starbucks, she says, I get to wear green every day with her Starbucks apron. So yes, green is every place. Uh, but thankfully, all of these pieces will go with everything you have hanging in your closet always it won't even come into the vintage meat modern collection if you can't actually wear it with what you own uh, and everything has been hand picked for you everything here is curated and everything that always goes um, every piece always goes to the perfect person so I know everybody like those forget-me-not earrings but they went off to a new home but that just means I'm gonna find something even more fabulous that is meant for you and somebody is gonna go over and head over to VMM now and they're gonna find the perfect piece for them so thanks everybody for spending some time with me on your Wednesday night. If you have any questions, if you want to see anything else related to size, color, or scale, you want to learn a little bit more about any of the particular pieces, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. You can always contact us over at help at vintagemeatmodern.com. And if you're brand new to joining us, thank you so much. We want to welcome you. And it's always a pleasure to get to spend time with all of our maidens and all of our new friends as well. Everyone have a fantastic Wednesday. I will see you all real soon. Everybody stay healthy and sparkly and go find the perfect piece for you. All right, everyone, good night. Uh, love to all of you and I'll see you all soon. Bye.